Our Bible reading today comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 2 to 11. Jesus began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you, when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely, on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Our song today for reflection is an old song. It was written in the 18th century and the word his is used where maybe these days we would use ours or yours. It's a song written by John Newton who used to be a slave trader and was converted and found in Jesus forgiveness and the desire to make a world that was better than the one that he used to live in. Now we're going to have a a period of open prayer or private prayer. We conclude our prayers with this modern version of the Lord's Prayer, which is based on the old version that Jesus taught, which was in the language of the day, 
the language of the everyday people. Could you then join me in praying this? Our Dad in heaven above, let everyone look up to you and the area where you are in charge grow. May what you want happen on earth as perfectly as it does in heaven. Please give to us what we need for today. Forgive us when we think or do wrong things, just as we don't hold it against those who hurt us. Guide us away from whatever we might want but is unhelpful to us and protect us from all that is nasty and destructive. For you are in charge of everything. You have the power to do it and you are awesome. You always were, you are now and always will be. Amen. And this is uh, a version of the prayer that we've been using in the diocese uh, to pray for the work of our churches here and the work of God's people in this area. Living God, Jesus calls his followers to grow to know him and to follow him that others might know him too. Renew us as we grow in your love and make your love known. Release us to share freely together in loving care and words and rejuvenate us to be fruitful. Give us courage, wisdom and compassion that, strengthened with the undeserved goodness of the Holy Spirit, we may both flourish and grow in Jesus. Amen. So be it. May your hearts be at peace and your minds be at rest. May you be confident in who you are and share God's gifts of light, hope and grace with those you meet and those you pray for. And may the blessing of God fill your hearts with hope this day and evermore. Amen.